Chico. I heard that Michelle was a cop or a fed or something. Is it true? I don't know what she is, but she was lying to us all along, and now I'm paying for it. Puttanesca. There was always something funky about her. I'm real sorry. I want to go... Here we are. That's uh, very kind of you. Nico, my boy. This is Packy's brother, Gerald McCreary. Jerry, how's it going? Good. Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Come and see me at my ma's house. Use the back entrance. Uh huh? I'll be in touch, Nikki. Let's do it. That's great.
You are scared now, huh? You're going to die, friend! about your driving, asshole! Zell, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house over Fever Head Avenue. You know the one I mean. Don't be waiting for Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on.
I want to go. Let's do it. Great, thanks. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Here? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas, any asshole with a buck, a whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah, wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Then we'll go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Incheon Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen, the Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. to blow some haze and beat up the coochie. Oh, thank you. The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it.
Ancelotti's love this crew real hard. Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother wouldn't put his faith in a bum. Well, he had them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan to complete. Come see me. We'll talk about step two. I want to go. Here we are, man. End of the line. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage! Don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man. And my husband is in hell. I'm thinking God moves in mysterious ways. Oh, that's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, uh, huh? Well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegarinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, i gonna chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on, I got something to show you. Now, uh, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest, he's decided to stir shit up for him. 
Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're gonna do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garone, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. in your voice. I like it a bit, but uh, I'm not the crazy fan. Because the shit went all commercial? Because people sold out? I, I hear you. No, not real. This the shit ain't real no more? Ain't got no intelligence? Real? Well, you're going to love my shit. Your shit? Yes, it's the real urban consciousness, and man, it is real. Pathos, believe that. Why are you selling it on the street? The majors are just pimps, and I ain't no bitch. No, I can see that. Man, if I have to spend the rest of my life preaching on a street corner, so fucking be it. Give it up for Pathos. Yo, Pathos, you a bitch and you suck dick. Man, you hear that, punk? Yeah, you heard me, bitch. What you gonna do about hey, it? Hey, fuck you. I've had enough of your crap. Thanks, son. You, you 
a child of the street. You know the truth when you see it. I I'm gonna immortalize you, keep it real, from your man Pathos. Thanks, man. I'll get you around. Where you want to go? We're going to be... Away. Uh, don't play with the windows. Nico, I got a favor to ask you. What is it? Well, you've been spending time with the rest of my family. I figured you may as well complete the set. You remember my brother Derek? Came along on the bank job? Sure. He's in a bad way. Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some park, an actor. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. Later. Stop now. So I'll take the long way. Oh, thank you. I told you I'm not going to go. Brother, I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey! Hey! Sit down. That's pretty good gear. Pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. <coughs> so... What do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean... I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up, but I tried. I made a mistake, but I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him and his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up.
Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Let's make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police gone. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! We'd rather everyone go down than him take a fall alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done. Stay away from me!
Nico! Nico, my boy. Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, shit. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. I'm going to have to take this. But, but, wait, it belongs to my mom. Ordner. Let's do it. That's uh, very kind of you. Uh, hello. I'm a friend of Fields. Nico Bellic. I know who you are, brother. You're after some money. Just like everyone else in this city. What's your deal? People come to me when they need something handled. I come to people like you when I need someone handled. Do you get me, brother? I get you. When you've taken care of something for me, call me on my cellular, but no specifics. Phil's good at that. I only talk business on a hard line. The target you're after is on a boat at the northern mouth of the West River. Take it out. What am I going to do with that brother of mine? Hey! So, uh... A fun way to go. This city better than me. Nico, I told Jimmy P about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. 
Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in West Dyke. Take charge of her, won't you, Nico? Contact with these coordinates. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden. We all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him. And Bucky think I talked, couldn't see no other way how he got caught. But what I hear, Aiden still rants about me to anyone who listens. I know how it feels to be betrayed. You got that look about you. You box boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedica? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city. Trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. It's in the hands of the Lord now. What the fuck is this? I think I gotta go! Use our boat to steal Tim from these fuckers! I don't give a shit if this thing sinks! We gotta protect him! I'd rather swim all the night than come back tomorrow to die for those notes! Chopper with it. I'll drive the boat. from as well. They'll say anything for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fake. You sound like my mother.
got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGarry. Now such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon. <laughs>